I'm getting ready to start making the blinds, but first I want to sharpen this blade. This is a thin curve eight and a quarter inch blade. It's just a little bit dull and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. First thing I had to do was make this little gadget right here, which is no more than just a piece of wood cut on a 20 degree angle. And I don't know, it's around 12 inches long. And I double sided taped one of these little sharpening sticks on here. This is a diamond sharpening stick. You can get these four in a pack with different colors. I'm not sure what the grid is, but it seems to work fine for saw blades. The idea is to leave the blade on the saw, take your gadget here, and you slip it into the gullet of the tooth until the angle is right on the face of the tooth, and then you push the blade ahead until it makes contact lightly, and then you just pull this back and forth like this. Now I'm going to get a little bit of oil on here to lubricate the cut and make it work more efficiently as well. I just need to do that all the way around the blade until I get right back to my start position. All total for a blade this size, it only takes about 10 minutes. One thing I try to do is make sure that I'm going straight across like this and not going on an angle. And that's all there is to it. I'm just going to take my paper towel and wipe off the stuff that Got on that. These things wear out fairly quickly because they're cheap. So if you see them on special or something like that, buy a bunch of them. It's also a good idea to clean all the resin and gunk off your blade before you get started on this. That way it doesn't gum up your sharpening stick. That's pretty much all you'll have to do with this. Just one pass on the face of the tooth. You don't have to do the top. It should be sharp enough after that. It feels sharp now and I'm going to give it a try. This is a piece of hard maple, an inch and a half thick. Let's we'll see how it works. Okay, that was fast and it didn't burn the hard maple. It went through without a problem. I've got a nice smooth cut. So it's just as simple as that. You can get a little bit more complicated and set this up in some kind of a jig to hold it, you know, 90 degrees to the blade so when you're sweeping it back and forth, you're absolutely still. I don't bother though because you get a lot of use out of a carbide blade and then if you just take 10 minutes out to do this it brings it pretty much right back to original condition in almost no time at all. As usual thanks for watching and see you next time.